Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's Autodesk sketchbook illustration, we are going to draw this beautiful Eiffel Tower with the fever of Olympics. So let's get into step one, paint the sky. Of course, we are having a resolution of 2860 into 2080 and we are following our usual brushes for paint the sky. If you're following previous video, you definitely know it is our coarse watercolor brush for the color adding and we are the blending we are going to use a blending brush from artistic and as we are going to illustrate i will just say how awesome the olympics are i'm not someone who follow olympic but all this news coming up did i have not even sat for even a single match but all this relay right it's so cool like how people are so good at what they are doing i think it's just the practice they are doing over a constant period of time and they're able to achieve and i'm so proud being an indian we are getting bronze in the rifle and also i can't forget two of the iconic people from the rifle competition i'll talk more about it as we are going to illustrate and now we have added the shade of teal dark and the lighter dark and along with the pink and the dark shade of pink yellow and orange because i want it to be as fantasy as we can so we are going to use the blending brush from artist side make sure to follow the size strength and flow of the brush and i'm doing a very basic blending here just from top to bottom blending in both the color before smudging it all together so if you look here very closely i'm blending the darker shade to the lighter shade and i am slowly pushing it around as we are getting down to the lower bit of the illustration so this is actually in the 2x speed so make sure you take your sweet time while blending color don't be in a hurry that's the goal just do it as you are happy to paint so there is nothing like you have to get the exact same one and there is nothing as such like oh i want it to be in a perfect way also i'm trying to give this little fluffy cloud by blending in the colors in the darker shade so let's hop on to step two that is we are going to draw building this is one of the easiest thing okay just add a new layer we are going to use font in pen and with the help of draw style straight line we are going to draw one straight line followed up with the help of rectangle box we are going to add few blocks of building uh, slowly and you can see in the next row so what i'm doing is i'm just adding a bigger block of building and slowly i am going to reduce the size of that layer and i'm copy and pasting as a smaller building from a distance because the entire highlight of this illustration itself is Eiffel Tower and yeah back to Olympic so if you guys are watching Olympic good for you but I'm not someone who has enough time to sit and watch any of the show but I'm so happy to see the result at the end of the day who has won who has to and as we are talking about rifle Kim Ji from South Korea she break the world record and oh my gosh she looks straight out of a sci-fi movie with all those gadgets and also wow how can we forget the men's rifle yusuf dike from turkey he just went in got got the rifle got silver like he's someone who was out for a grocery shopping just hopped into olympic and got a silver medal to his country so proud of all these people so yeah step three we are going to paint the river make sure to add a new layer and also this is above the building layer because I want it to be like the building layer. I want it to be at a distance, not close by. So I'm adding a darker shade of blue and also the teal shade from the sky. And we are going to use a wash brush to slowly blend this together. So I'm just going to give a small wavy structure because this is a river, not a sea. So you don't have to be very much like a lot of wave, wave, wave. You can just add a small wavy structure here and there so that it looks like it's a flowing river. So yeah, once we are done with this, we can we are going straight into drawing the icon Eiffel Tower. If you look on the right side, you'll see a lot of layer going on. So make sure to add as many layer as you want. And we are going to the show topper. That is, let's draw Eiffel Tower. With the help of symmetry option, if you see on the top of the toolbar, there is this open bracket, close bracket like, and you just select that. And also I have selected level, but I feel like it is not needed, but somewhat I thought maybe for the outline I may require. So Eiffel Tower has a three bit story. Okay, think it through the top, the middle and the bottom. 
bottom. The top is basically you're going to illustrate like a candle, okay? The one narrow on the top and slowly broader by the end. So it's looked like a huge candle divided into three bits. So in between, we are going to add this bridge for holding up this entire illustration, okay? Entire construction, how it is done. So what I did, I added this calendar like figure and once we are done I filled up with the lighter gray shade because I wanted that to be a background color and again I added one more layer to add this level okay the one way you have to add this minute detail in the monument so I'm using technical pencil and also these are all in 4x speed just make sure you take your time not so fast and also this does not have to be exactly like how it is it's just like a narrow zigzag around the structure so if you look here for the middle side of the monument I'm doing a diagonal for the rest I'm doing a zigzag so just make sure you take your time and just illustrate as you are comfortable with so what we are going to do is we are adding the shadow of the structure and then we are adding that mesh architecture which a filter has and once it is all done we are going to add and light up with this beautiful neon popping color like every eiffel tower like if you look in the pinterest or instagram all this viral video it's like eiffel tower getting on in the evening right those lights glowing by so what I did, I selected the layer and I drag all the way down to the sky layer. So what I did, looking at the image, I made sure the Eiffel Tower is at a distance and it is in between the building and how it's supposed to be. So what we are currently doing is we are using hair brush from Artist by Smudger for using uh, to remove the roughness from the structure by giving it a little bit smoothness because I don't like all this rough here just so I'm just blending I think I hope so it's visible for you I should have zoomed in a little bit but I'm just not unsure whether I should do or not so just make sure you take your time because this is done in over 15 or 20 minutes so all these are in 2x and 4x speed take your sweet time there is nothing to be hurried about and the final bit we are using glow neon pen from glow a brush to add this light i was so happy how this turned out and i'm just so hesitant to illustrate this for a long time but this looks so realistic like it's look so much alike in picture and hope you guys would have fun illustrating and also please make sure to share with me on instagram i want to see how you guys brought this picture together and i'm so 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 glad that i finally got the guts to actually illustrate so don't ever wait just do what you feel like also i have increased the size to add few more glow in the Eiffel Tower. So for highlights and Olympic logo, this is just because I felt like I need more shadow or in depth of in the cloud because I feel like the background is a little bit lighter because I want the Eiffel Tower to pop up. So what I did, I selected the sky layer. I used Flow Airbrush to just add a darker shade of the blue color and also I'm choosing the darker shade of burgundy for the lower part of the sky. I'm happy it is a bit little dark and I can feel that uh, Eiffel Tower is popping out and also I'm using Tattoo Inker to add the lighter shade because I want this hint in the sky, right? The lighter hint and I'm using wash brush to slowly smudge it around i'm not going to do anything stiff because i don't want any bit to be taken away from a fill tower so i'm happy that there's a little hint of a sky and the lighter shade of the cloud so we are going to add new layer and also we are going to select the white color and with the help of glow neon i have increased a little bit size and with the help of draw style circle we are going to draw one circle and we are going to copy and paste like a logo of olympic and i'm going to place in between of the eiffel tower so i was i was not able to watch the olympic opening but i was able to see all this beautiful clip being shared by the influencer i'm so happy that it was so beautiful at the end so the last we are going to add reflection and grass so for this i'm going to add few lights to the building which is far away so that i just want a little pop here and there and once that's done i'm going to copy and paste this layer in a new layer and invert this around reduce the opacity and we are going to use a hairbrush from artist column to slowly give that watery flow the building's shadow being fluted around so 
hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment which video you enjoyed of course i know it's going to be a filter but i'm so happy that you guys have joined to listen through the rant of olympic and whichever is your favorite player like comment down below whichever country of yours have won let me know in the comment as well i'll be happy to share the joy with one another so we are going to use camo for the grass and this is our key bit i'm just going to add a little lighter shade of black and i'm going to turn it around once it is done i'm going to make it a darker like i'm just going to select a black color and going to top it up and once we are done with this i'm using dry ink brush to actually add the grass hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for joining this life is very short make sure to make the best of every single second you breathe and have a have a one fantastic life so happy that i was able to illustrate and share with you till then see you bye bye